Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. It's Sunday, January 28th, and it's weigh-in day! Hello everyone, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and it's weigh-in day. So for today's weigh-in, um, this is my four-week weigh-in for 2018. It is one of my official picture-taking um, weigh-ins, so I'm adding another four-week picture to the collection that I already have. If you haven't already seen my um, keto anniversary or ketoversary video, that's where you can see the slideshow progression over time. So I just went and did um, pictures to update and hopefully there's some change there. Um, I do have some non-scale victories I'm going to talk about in this video and I just thought that you guys might be interested to know that um, I've gone completely back to basics. So I went back to doing exactly what I've been doing all of this time. I don't know why the last few weeks I've been trying to change things or tweak things. Um, do things differently. I've been maybe watching too much YouTube, getting too many opinions from different people, and I decided I'm just gonna let all of that go, and I'm just gonna go back to doing what I have been doing from the beginning. Stick into my macros, 120 grams of protein, 78 grams of fat, and less than 21 carbs every single day, tracking everything, making sure I'm hitting at least 5,000 milligrams of sodium per day, 1,000 milligrams of potassium per day, and I usually do about 400 milligrams of magnesium per day, and I went back to doing just that and not worrying about anything else. I'm back on dairy, so I guess you guys are probably interested to know um, if going back to basics has changed things for me this week. We've had three weeks where I haven't basically not lost anything, just kind of been bouncing around the same two pounds. So let's get to it. Let's see the way in. <laughs> cool. All right, so you, I bet you guys can tell from my reaction that I was kind of surprised. I honestly did not expect to be going into another weight decade, but oh man, I am thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled. Um, so my weigh in today, I was 229.5, which is like, ah, which means a 6.7 pound loss for this week and a total loss of 144.5 pounds since January 1st, 2017. That's in 56 weeks. Just awesome. I also lost 2.75 inches and that makes my inches total up to 146.5 inches lost since January 1st, 2017. So yeah, my, my weigh-in on January 1st, 2017, I was 374 pounds. And as of today, 229.5, I'm only five pounds away from my huge, huge goal. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that 224 is kind of like my ultimate goal because it will be the smallest weight I've ever been as an adult and also below pre-pregnancy weight for all nine of my children. So it's a huge, huge, huge milestone. Though I do have to say that I'm actually wearing smaller size clothes and I actually look smaller in the mirror than I did last time I weighed 225 when I was doing a lower protein version of keto with um, shakes and things like that. So I truly believe that I am maintaining my muscle mass. Um, I don't have any proof of that. I don't have a DEXA scan or a bod pod or anything to prove it, but I'm sticking to it and it's working. So I'm just gonna keep on keeping on, doing what I was doing, keep it to the basics, keep it to what I know works for me, and that's what I'm just gonna continue on doing here on my channel. So I wanted to talk about some of the non-scale victories that I have noticed this week. So the very first one is that at clogging class, I didn't really get tired. I was able to do the entire class and not stop and not feel like my chest was burning or that I was gonna explode, you know? And I just kept on going through the whole class. 
And it was the first time I realized that it was starting to get easier for me to have like a little bit more endurance, which is great. Um, my clumsiness has still not improved. I still find myself tripping over my feet trying to learn these things. But I have hope that by the recital in May, at the end of May, that I won't look like a floundering whatever on stage that I will actually look like I maybe know what I'm doing. I'm a little bit more hopeful <laughs> at this point. Second, non-scale victory. I noticed this week that I can wrap a regular bath towel around me and that it actually covers me up all the way. I do have to hold it closed, but for the first time that I can remember since maybe I was a teenager, I am able to wear a bath towel around myself and like walk out into my bedroom and grab something and go back in my bathroom. It's so freeing. Who knew the wrapping a towel around you was such a blessing? It's awesome non-scale victory. And my last non-scale victory that I am so super excited about is, I don't know if you can see it in this light, probably not, but hello, collarbones. I have them, literally haven't seen them. I mean, even last time when I lost the weight and I was 225 pounds on the shake keto diet that I was doing, uh, yeah, never saw them. There they are. I don't know if you can see them. You can see them if I do that. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah, so I have actually, and through my shoulders, I'm a lot thinner through my shoulders. My arms have lost a lot. The last two weeks, I've lost about an inch around both of my arms, which is crazy. And just through here, I have just lost a lot. Which, this isn't really a place that I've been able to measure. I haven't measured here around my shoulders or anything. So, you know, I don't really have any way of knowing how much I've lost right here. But I can just tell this this week that all of a sudden... Um, everything right here is just shrinking and I can feel all of my bones I mean, and I can feel my hip bones now and I can feel my ribs things like that I was like so shocked that my hip bones are so high up they're clear up here who knew I honestly had no idea <laughs> I mean I know what anatomy looks like and I've seen skeletons but for some reason it's never connected in my brain that the top of the pelvis isn't out here at the biggest part of your hip yeah. Anyway, so those are my non-scale victories for this week. Um, I'm pretty grateful for the experience of kind of sticking for three weeks and feeling stressed out and like feeling like I needed to change things and go up and down and run around trying to figure out what I was doing wrong when I really just needed to be patient and just wait it out. So I'm kind of glad that I've again learned that lesson. And if you've been watching me from the beginning, you'll know this is not the first time I have learned the lesson of patience. And that is what I want to talk to you guys about today. I just want to remind you, be patient. You know, we didn't get to be, I didn't get to be 374 pounds overnight. And I'm not going to shrink down to 135 pounds overnight. This is a long haul kind of deal. And there's no guarantees every single week that we're going to see a change on the scale or even in measurements. We just need to wait it out, stick to the course, do what's working, and keep on going. Don't get frustrated. Don't lose your patience. Don't break down like me and become a basket case over a two pound, three pound gain. You know that if you are eating at a deficit and you're making sure that you're burning fat instead of carbs, that you are losing fat from your body. So just have faith, keep on going. And that's my lesson for today that I have personally learned. Have patience. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We'll talk to you again soon.